Mirror's Edge Catalyst has sadly received another delay, but don't lose faith because the extra wait is only a couple of weeks as the Electronic Arts game is now slated to release June 7th in North America and June 9th in Europe. Mirror's Edge Catalyst design director Eric Odeldahl said they're pushing the game back to address a closed beta feedback, especially in regard to social play online features. Also, I'm sure it's nice not to go up against Overwatch anymore, but no way EA will ever say that. <laughs> as an esports organization possibly revealed the hardware sales numbers for Xbox One. Well, Gfinity head Neville Upton released a statement today saying that there are 18 million users of Microsoft's system, but a company spokesperson revealed that number is not official. The Gfinity spokesperson said Gfinity has not sought to confirm Microsoft sales figures. The comment in the statement today is based on a variety of independent sources published earlier this year. Now, Microsoft has kept Xbox One hardware sales numbers under wraps, instead highlighting riveting info about how many times people have turned on the system. Quantum Break developer Remedy Entertainment may already be well underway with a new game. You see, Game Center Online spotted on LinkedIn that Quantum Break lead designer Kyle Rowley has been tinkering away on a mystery project for nine months. And that's on top of other studio members mentioning something they can't talk about yet on LinkedIn. Personally, I'd be down for Alan Wake 2, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And that's your Daily Fix for April 21st. I'm Naomi Kyle. If you want more news, make sure to download our IGN official app. And remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.